we've talked about scope before, and basically where you de uh, declare a variable is uh, that block is where you can use that variable, and if you leave that block, you can't use that variable. That already happened in our code here, where I wanted to use the graphics object outside of the main method. So I had two choices. I could either pass it as a parameter in every method I wanted to draw, or I could declare it outside the main method, and it's inside the class, so I can access G anywhere inside this class. I decided to declare it up here so I could access it anywhere in the class. And I'll just highlight G. You'll see G's. I set it here, and then every draw method and the erase method, I uh, called it in here. Okay, let's go ahead and look at uh, the rectangle translate. So the way I did that, I right click, navigate, go to source, and it opened up rectangle, and I scrolled way down to translate. All right, anytime you have a parameter, it acts a lot like a declaration. The only difference is you're gonna inherit or receive a value for dx whenever this method is called, and then this dx only exists inside this method. And so if I highlight this curly bracket, I'm going to scroll down until I see the next curly bracket, which is way down here. So that dx is only going to exist until line 578, and then it will no longer exist. So those are parameters. Now there's a variable declared here. So this int is only going to exist until you, again, leave this block. There's no declarations inside the if statements here. Uh, yeah, so those, they only exist locally, so only until right here at the end. All right, so now it's time to talk, talk about garbage collection. So anytime you declare something new, it reserves a spot in memory that eventually needs to get deleted. Now when you stop running your program, every spot in memory uh, automatically is released. Uh, but that actually can happen if your program runs for any uh, decent period of time. So right here, I said box equals null, uh, which won't actually release box because B still pointed to the same thing. So if I do this line of code, now every reference to this new rectangle has uh, been lost. So I like to think of it like a balloon where you can have lots of strings attached to a balloon, but once the last string, you let go of the last string, the balloon floats away. And that's exactly what's gonna happen right here. There's nothing holding on to this rectangle. So this rectangle will be released from memory and there's no way to get it back. Uh, just like if you release a balloon, it'll float up and there's no way to get it back. 